students in North Carolina are testing at levels lower than we were before the pandemic, but we're not alone. It's a nationwide trend detailed in the National Center for Education Statistics annual report. CBS 17's Dina Harley is live tonight with this story. And Dina, advocates say something has to be done about this. Yeah, that's right. Advocates I spoke with today say a lot of these issues actually existed before the pandemic. They say if we want students to start scoring higher, we need to act. I'm not surprised, right? I think we knew this was going to happen um, after a pandemic that affected um, students, teachers, and families. Not surprised. That's how some education advocates feel after seeing the National Association of Educational Progress report detailing how student learning was impacted during the pandemic. There are needs that are not getting met, um, and students are not performing, you know, as as demonstrated in these standardized test scores. Here in North Carolina, 39% of fourth graders scored below basic in reading levels. For eighth grade students, 34% of them scored below basic. Meanwhile, in math, 25% of fourth graders scored below basic. That's the highest that level has been since 2000. Those numbers are right on track with what students are scoring nationally. In order to make those test scores trend upward again, education advocates say the state needs to act. We think paying teachers for their experience is one way to improve student growth and proficiency in those test scores. And while it won't be a quick fix, advocates say students deserve investments in their futures. This is not going to be an overnight or even a one year, two year fix. But, you know, at some point we have got to reckon with um, a lot more resources and support that our students need through our public school system. And it's it's time that we get serious about it. Advocates I spoke with today say they now want the General Assembly to invest more funding into schools. In Raleigh, Dina Harley, CBS 17 News. All right, Dina, thank you.